The idea which informs the artist's creation is one thing. The process of the creation is another. The technical progress and factory work of our day have led us to lose our appreciation of the manner in which a thing is made. And have caused us to value a product more for itself than as a result of some mental activity. The importance which attaches to the natural growth of a work of art can hardly be overestimated. All that is good and true in art depends on it. Art can flourish only when the artist follows the natural paths of production. Let him then get his result, however modest, by natural means, rather than strive to achieve something more brilliant, the outcome of greater ability than he possesses. For such a work, being one of false pretense, must inevitably be condemned to the fate of all shades.